It's the gear tester here, and welcome to my review on the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet. The Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet weighs in at 12 ounces, and the handle length may vary very slightly because of the wood they're using, but it's going to be around 10 and a half to 11 inches long, the handle. This means you have a very lightweight at 12 ounces and very relatively compact size of the, the length of the handle, making it really easy to fit into a backpack or a over the shoulder bag. And comparably, uh, it's actually very close in size to many medium sized uh, fixed blade knives. This is my Sog Seal Pup Elite here that you can see. I've owned this Sog Seal Pup for many years and really enjoyed using it. You can see there we're about the same size overall length and certainly with the sheath on the knife, the knife is basically the same size, but the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet has a tremendous amount of capabilities when it comes to chopping. You can see there the wedge shape of the head. It's a lot better chopper than any uh, medium or small fixed blade knife and it can really chop and hold its own against larger fixed blade knives. The Grand Forth Brooks Mini Hatchet excels at small carving and chopping tasks. That doesn't mean that it can't do larger tasks or that it can't really get in and chop deeply into pieces of wood but it does excel very well at doing smaller, finer carving and cutting tasks. It's really a joy to use and to do woodworking with. The Grand Forth Brooks Mini Hatchet does a great job of chopping through wood. You can see here, this is a relatively large piece of wood, nice piece of pine. I'm just being able to chop right through. Now, it's got a 12 ounce overall weight, right? So it takes a little more energy to chop because the head is not as heavy, but it's still very easy to get through pieces of wood like this. There you go. I've been using the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet for over four and a half months now. And I am very impressed with the fit and finish of this excellent tool as well as its effectiveness. You just saw me cut through what is a relatively good sized log with this excellent little tool and it did a great job of cutting through that log. And what I've realized is this is a very lightweight, compact tool that will do almost everything I would need a tool to accomplish on a backpacking or camping trip. But it is so lightweight and so compact that I don't even know I have it in a backpack or tucked in my belt until I need to use it. One of the companions or companion tools that I've used regularly with the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet is this uh, Bacco Laplander folding saw and they do a great job of working together and uh, I've just been really impressed with the combination of these two tools. One of the things that the lightweight compact nature of this tool allows you to do is it really allows you to choke up on this little head and do finer carving tasks almost like you would with a smaller medium sized flick fixed blade knife so you can do little carving tasks that with a larger hatchet or an axe would not be capable or would not merely be functional with this little tool and that has really really made me like the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet there is one thing though that uh, I don't like or that could detract from the Grand Force Brooks Mini Hatchet. And that is the price. This is a premium tool from an excellent company, but it comes with the premium price tag. And you're going to pay at least currently near the end of 2014. You're going to be paying about $160 to have the joy of holding this excellent tool in your hand and using it. And $160 is a lot of money. Now, I wouldn't 
sell this to anyone for $160. I'm glad I spent my money on it. Don't get me wrong, but I understand that it is a lot of money for a tool like this. And many people uh, don't have the time or energy or money to spend on a tool like that. And so I want to give you some other options here. Maybe you watch this video and maybe you're going to be thinking about purchasing this in the future, but you don't have the money right now. And in fact, that was my case. I first saw the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet when I was 18 or 19 years old up in Montana at a sporting goods store. And I walked in, I thought, that is cool. Went over to look at it, looked at the price tag and walked away because it was too expensive. And it's taken me many, many years till I've had the additional cash to purchase this excellent tool. So I want to give you some options here. And I'm going to start with the cheapest options and go to some more expensive options that would be good uh, competitive options for this tool. This is an excellent little tool. This is the Schrade hatchet. It comes with a hatchet knife combo. You can keep your eyes out. Those are gonna be being put on sale here near the end of 2014 around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. They make great gifts. I purchased a couple of these Schrade uh, hatchets and this is gonna cost you about 20 to $25. So that's a competitive option. It doesn't have the the old world craftsmanship, it doesn't have the quality and attention to detail, but it will chop if you need a chopping tool. And that is a, a budget option. What is probably my overall favorite in terms of cost and functionality cutting tool, the Fishkers X7, this is going to cost you around $35. And this is another great option. It's bigger, so I tend to not carry it as much as I would the, the uh, Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet, but the Fishkers X7 is probably, if you're looking for a quality chopping tool, $35 or a little bit less than that, maybe a little bit more, that is probably the tool you would want to be getting. Then I've got two uh, knives here, two medium sized fixed blade knives. You saw my uh, Sog Seal Pup Elite at the beginning of this video. That's an excellent option if you're going to be around salt water quite a bit. And then you have here my RC4 currently being sold as the ESEE4 from SE Knives. Both these are under the $160 price tag which the uh, Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet carries with it. Here is my cold steel Gurkha Kukri which is in need of some tender love and care. An excellent tool. It could do more work arguably than the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet but it is significantly larger and heavier. And it's around the same price. And then what is my overall favorite outdoor chopping tool, my Grand Force Brooks Small Forest Axe. It carries a price tag of about $120. So you have all these options. And these are knives that are in my personal collection. Some of the knives in my personal collection. But you know, there are lots of other budget tools out there which are competitors of the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet. However, I have found that I enjoy this tool. I enjoy using it for carving. I enjoy using it for chopping and that I do not regret the money I've spent. And this will be a little tool that is kept in my possession for the rest of my life because it is such a quality, well-made, functional tool. And because it is so much fun to work with, to chop with, to do things with. You saw some chopping in use in this video. If you wanted to see more chopping, more use of the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet, you could click over and you could look for my three-part mini series entitled Carving a Small Cedar Canoe Paddle. Carving a Small Cedar Canoe Paddle. And I use this mini hatchet, the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet, to do the vast majority of that carving. So you'd get a lot more uh, about, I think, all three of those videos add up to about 15 minutes total of footage of me using this excellent little tool to make a small cedar canoe paddle on the coast of Washington State when I was out there on vacation recently. I would recommend the Grand Force Brooks mini hatchet to you if you are looking for a compact, lightweight, functional tool that will do a lot of work, that will allow you to choke up and do fine tasks, that will allow you to chop through logs and branches and things as you would need to on a backpacking or camping trip and is just an excellent piece of equipment to own and to have.
subscribe for more quality video reviews and adventure videos that focus on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.